Hello, my beautiful Mystic Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Monday, November the 15th, 2021. Many blessings to you all. This is our collective ability to be in the energy of manifesting our best possible life now. We are being relentlessly optimistic and absolutely positively positive. When you look back at the past, you already turn yourself around in the wrong direction. So we're looking to the future, moving forward. No matter what you're experiencing right now, you have the power to change it using the law of divine compensation, the law of attraction, and the power to manifest your future through your own energy. So with that being said, if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com where you can choose the service that best suits you, and I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. Let's move right on into the energy. Very solid. We've got the Four of Wands and the Two of Wands. Wands always talk about action and strength and power and movement. So it can do, can do with work or just moving forward in something that you need to undertake in your life. The Four of Wands is good communication and solid foundation energy, which also hits this communication card that's up here in the Law of Attraction deck. So this is the energy of having a platform that is solid and having more than one um, avenue supporting you, okay? The four pillars there. Then you have the two of wands. Now, this isn't so much as support as it is direction. Finding your ability to move forward, even if you um, don't know how that's going to happen yet, the energy you put out there to give you the exact right thing can be confirmed in this because no matter what option you choose here, you're, you're moving parallel in the energy of moving forward. So as long as we're moving forward, it's always the right decision. And this gives you saying whatever option you take will be the right decision. There's no wrong answer, truly. Um, it, 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 you can take that as deep as you want. It, it can be a superficial answer. There's no wrong answer because no matter what you make, it, it turns out in your benefit. Or there's no wrong answer, literally, which is your life is supposed to be lived in this way. So however you take it, here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, the magician, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone, all sun, moon, and rising, to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Well... We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So, these are the first two cards that fell. They fell this way. One, two, and the third is the fool. So we're always happy to see that fool card energy because that's the way everybody wants to change and it's the most palatable. It's the way that clears the old and lets you move forward without having to have any lingering stuff from the past. So let's see what our underlier is. Hello, hanged woman. So this particular deck is very feminine and modern. And the feminine energy of the hanged woman is much like a Cirque du Soleil performer being in a place of, you know, we all like to hang from the trapeze or at least think of ourselves as being able to do that. This is your crown chakra, being in a place of enlightenment, bringing yourself to that higher position. So meditation and contemplation play a vital role in the, communi the communication part where you're having the ability to connect to source. So if you're not available for the information, then it has to really work harder to get to you. If you're blocked off, you can't receive the phone call, right? When you turn your ringer off, you won't hear it. So here is the communication card. I effectively communicate and clarify my needs in order to achieve my goals. This is important. That's that four pillars being solidly connected and being able to have a give and take. And that's the whole thing is uh, we can pray and that's great. Praying, speaking what you want, all of that is great. But if you never stop to listen, uh, it is a true fact. You will not hear, right? Unless it's 
<laughs> unless it has to bring the boom and you don't want that. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. The boom is, is pretty uh, intense when the universe lays it on you. Here we have courage. My fear of rejection does not stop me from bravely going forward. We're all afraid when we're trying something new. We're all afraid when we're stepping up into our purpose. It's not unusual, but it is necessary. If you don't feel the fear, then it's not something that's going to be a profound effect. Now, the people who may not feel the fear, something, something someone that's already doing it. Once you get used to doing it, then the fear fades and you're more in your comfort zone. But you have to step out of your comfort, your original comfort zone to get into the new one, right? So courage and communication are necessary. Having the courage to communicate. How about that? That's also an option. Let's see what our angel cards have to say. Recovery. Okay, so you can take this as the literal term of recovery, physical, some kind of illness, emotional issue, uh, recovering from, heck, we could be partying too hard. We have to recover from that. So it can be over celebration, right? So being in a place also of recovery in your energy, allow yourself to be in meditation. That is what brings you that rest restoration of connection and divine light pulling that in. So... Here we are into our sacred geometry activations. Earth. This is a very... Listen, we were born here for a reason. The frequency of Earth activates our deep connection to this physical plane by showing us the beauty of all the aspects of our Great Mother and revealing the more ethereal, spiritual aspects of our nature. Mother Gaia is a sacred energy. This planet that we live on is a sacred place. There are many dimensions in the universe. Earth is one of them. And it may even be many dimensions. I'm not an expert on that whatsoever. I'm constantly talking about deep dive information, which you will get more of when I start the podcast very soon. Um, just remember, if we haven't been to the other side, we can't come back with the story. We can only uh, pontificate the possibilities, right? So, here there is no competition and no comparison. For we are all different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful. I love myself. Remember this when somebody tells you, oh, that's been tried before. Well, everything's been tried before, but it wasn't tried by you. So don't let somebody talk you out of doing something in your own original way just because they have some stigma attached to it. I accept my uniqueness because absolutely you have a viewpoint and a personality and a mind that thinks a little differently from everybody else. Whether they realize it or not, not matters not. The universe is here for you to experience. So accept your uniqueness and know that there is no competition and no comparison. We are all different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful and I love myself. So if you look at this hanged woman, you can tell she's an individual. She's doing her own thing, and so is the fool. This is, this is how you achieve what you want in this life, is be yourself. Do it the way you would do it, and don't worry about what everybody else is doing, because your voice is unique, and so are you. I turn every experience into an opportunity. Each problem has a solution. All experiences are opportunities for me to learn and grow. I am safe. I turn every experience into an opportunity. Each problem has a solution. All experiences are opportunities for me to learn and grow. I am safe. This is important to feel safe. Even when we're, t we're out on a limb... Do you think Evil Knievel goes into a jump or a or any anybody the 
the flying Walendas. Do you think that they go into it thinking, oh, I might not can do this? No, they've convinced themselves they're already on the other side before they ever take a step on the rope. Their focus is the platform on the other side, not the wire. It is a, an essential thing that you get in this energy of a higher perspective and don't let yourself, basically don't let yourself look down, right? Well, hello, Wheel of Fortune. We love the energy of the Wheel of Fortune because it means success and fast moving success. It also knocks the hell out of anything that's standing in your way because the Wheel of Fortune dissolves all obstacles into dust at your feet, opens all doors of opportunity, and turns all red lights green. It releases karmic holds. So anything that may be holding you back or keeping you feeling stuck is now in the process of being swept out of there. Knight of Swords, like a lightning strike. Wheel of Fortune does move that way. This is the energy of out of the blue, something that shows up suddenly. So let's envision suddenly everything turned in my favor. I went from last to first in the blink of an eye. That's the kind of energy that pulls you through the part where you feel like there's no way out. Those conversations with self change the vibratory energy around you and as you can see in this visual image you can see the waves of energy coming off of her so this is the part where we have to understand your energetic field sets the tone for everything around you and you can protect yourself with it you can actually change the circumstances that that you're walking into with it because of your confidence in the fact that you know you have the power to guide your own self forward in this life in the most possible way, best possible way, the, the most positive way possible. So allowing yourself to have that, that strength and courage will put you in the energy of the fool. And the fool takes you from the close of one door directly turning into the opening of the next without a gap. There's no lag time, real time movement. Close one door, open the next. You don't have any time to stop and think about it. It's not time for you to stop and think about it. Keep moving forward. Whatever direction takes you forward, choose that direction. Because if you're turned around looking backwards, you've already lived that. It's over. Thank God. A lot of it is stuff I don't even want to think about again. So this is the point where you get to take that new step and experience something new and change your whole energy and your whole life. So... Say yes to the open door. <laughs> Many blessings to you, my friends. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.